So I've just spent one month in Bangladesh and... This is a climate resilient crop. <laughs> Literally the end of the road. The road already disappeared. <laughs> So I spent about a week in Dhaka, I met a lot of people, then they told me about a lot of projects uh, around Bangladesh and I wrote all my scripts, so I'm all prepared and tonight I'm leaving, finally. This you sleeping, others man. Bangladesh is a very vulnerable country. In the north, river flow from the Himalayas down to the Bay of Bengal. Every year, annual monsoon floodings affect two-thirds of the country. More than 1,200 people are believed to have died. It's thought to be the worst monsoon season in decades. A third of Bangladesh is still underwater. In the south, tidal floods and cyclones are ravaging the coastal belt, polluting fresh water, destroying houses, crops, infrastructures. A trail of destruction along India's eastern coast. And often taking away people's lives. The government evacuated millions of people before Fani barreled into Bangladesh. That meant many. The land of Bangladesh is very flat. 79% of the country is just above sea level. Any change in rainfall or sea level results in catastrophic events. Floods, drought and cyclones are not new. People have been living with them for centuries. But this past decade, they are becoming more frequent and more unpredictable. The people living in these vulnerable areas don't have time to recover before another disaster falls upon them. So I spent three weeks in the coastal area to understand the problem and to see how people are adapting to climate change. I met with scientists from the Bangladesh Rice Institute, the UNDP, many government officials and villagers in every place I went. What shocked me the most was the proximity and the reality of the danger. The people living there know that from one day to another, they can lose everything. Someone told me in Bangladesh people are very innovative. When you face threats every day of your life, you have to innovate and adapt, or you die. These people, with the help of the government and NGOs, are finding solutions to survive, and they are proud of it. I have visited thrilling projects, run by enthusiast people of all ages, that get their hands dirty to improve their lives under one of others. I have seen smart ideas, innovative projects. I have seen communities, families, men and women, working together to find solutions. I have seen hope. This was a short introduction to my videos coming up next week. Stay tuned because it's gonna be really interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it as much as you can. And I'll see you next week. Bye. It's getting really, really hot in here. Better like this.